Sam, if you don't mind, I'd like to frame that and take it home to Peggy. <laughs> Y'all, I'm happy to be here. I do have a proclamation to read. I'd like to recognize a few people. I don't think the mayor is here. Is the mayor, mayor's not here. Big pardon? Could make it. Well, he's done a great job, uh, and we appreciate that. And the lieutenant governor's here, and Senator Graham and Congressman Timmons. We're glad to have those, as well as all these other notables that are here. Of course, most everybody in South Carolina is notable. Uh, Sam, as you mentioned, we, we're making progress. We're way outpacing other states. And one reason, the main reason, the reason people come to do business in South Carolina is because of the people. They all say that. And they, they say the people of South Carolina are, are different. And when people are looking to invest millions and billions of dollars, they're looking for people to do the work for their companies, and they're coming to South Carolina. So we're in a great place. Uh, we, we were smart with, the, with the, the virus. We did not shut down. We slowed down where we had to. But because of that, we're able to speed back up quicker than other places. We've not locked anybody out of businesses. And those that have been significantly hurt, we're doing everything we can to see to it that we, we help, them, help them get back on their feet. It's like uh, Muhammad Ali said one time to a young fellow, he said, Champ, didn't uh, George Foreman or uh, Joe, Joe Frazier knock you down one time? He said, son, I've never been knocked down. I'm either up or getting up. And that's the way we are. We've never been knocked down. We're not going to be knocked down because we're strong people. And what we're doing here with, with the life sciences and, and bioscience is another example of that. I'm happy to be here. Uh, these jobs that, uh, that Sam was referring to, on average, life science jobs pay more than $78,000. That, those are the kind of jobs we like. And the continued development and success of the life science industries in South Carolina will produce prosperity, health, and happiness for years to come. So I have a proclamation that I'll read, and it reads as follows. State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation. Whereas South Carolina has cultivated a cutting-edge life science sector with an annual economic impact of more than $12 billion, and whereas more than 800 firms and over 43,000 professionals are directly involved in the research, development, and commercialization of innovative healthcare, medical device, industrial, environmental, and agricultural biotechnology products, and whereas since 2017, the life sciences sector has become South Carolina's fastest growing industry, with employment growing at double the rate of South Carolina's economy as a whole. And whereas SC Bio is the organization exclusively focused on attracting new life science sector jobs and investment to South Carolina, and whereas during the COVID-19 pandem pandemic, more than 100 Life sciences organizations across South Carolina work together to support and promote the procurement and distribution of personal protective equipment, support and implement COVID-19 testing and expedite health solutions for our citizens. And whereas in collaboration with the South Carolina Department of Commerce and SC Bio, South Carolina's economic development recruitment efforts shall include an enhanced emphasis and focus on attracting, building, advancing, innovating, and growing existing and new life, life sciences businesses in the state. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim February 15 through 19, 2021, as SC Bio Life Sciences Week throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to recognize and appreciate the many contributions of the life sciences industries to South Carolina's health and economic prosperity. Signed by me, your proud, happy governor for 5.1 million proud, happy South Carolinians. <laughs> Sam, let me give this Thank to you. you. Yeah. And I have one more thing to say. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, this is the beginning. There is more. Next month, we will be announcing a new economic development initiative one that will utilize the collaborative power of SC Bio, the Department of Commerce, and the life sciences companies in our state. South Carolina is known for manufacturing cars, planes, and tires, among other things, including great people. But uh, someday in the not too distant future, we want to add pharmaceutical manufacturing to that list. 
and we're preparing to do so. South Carolina has a tremendous opportunity to become a leader in onshoring pharmaceutical manufacturing jobs and investment back to the United States from China, Europe, and many other countries. Senator Graham and Congressman Timmons, among others, have been leading the charge by pushing the idea of onshoring many types of manufacturing back to the United States, especially in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. So like in other innovations across the spectrum of our economy, this will require that our state invest now in early childhood education and making college affordable and accessible so that we have the skilled workforce needed to compete for future jobs and investment like the pharmaceutical manufacturing. The best is yet to come. Yes, and sir. thank you. Thank you.